toll stage. I've heard it said both ways in the news. Instead of saying, you know what, I'm just, I'm just going to sit around and wait for the government to do this, he took the initiative. And, and that's what makes America so great, because when you look at some of the problems, how churches and organizations and private organizations and volunteer groups, they do amazing things. Churches, what the churches hell is are that? some of the, the unsung heroes of aid and helping people and feeding people, not only domestically, but around the world. So this triple amputee, as you know, starts the GoFundMe page, which is now over $17 million. He said in a statement on his Facebook page, or on the GoFundMe the page, and you can also find it on Facebook. We the people will fund the wall. Triple amputee U.S. veteran Brian Holfage writes that he is facing death threats against his family censorship of his petition on Twitter. Well, that's standard on Twitter. Twitter and Google, they're not not—they're not big on people that, you know, easy on that thinking for yourself thing. We're not gonna tolerate that. So uh, anyway, I can't believe he's getting attacks on his family and death threats and it's ridiculous. But we're used to that as conservatives. And I was just telling a member yeah, of the staff, I said, a, you know, you should, you should put on a, a dot on the uh, window. <laughs> America Great Again hat and go to the mall later here in New York City. Yeah. Go to that mall, the one by the bus station. Just go there and shop and see what happens.